Now we've looked at downloading, how if you use Windows 7 and Internet Explorer 9 or Google Chrome, you get the navigation windows. With YE9, you get the choice. Download directly to the Downloads folder or by using the drop-down menu that sits under Save, you get the Save As and then the navigation route. Now before I move on to the next step, which is how do I format or how do I transfer my designs to my external media to take to my embroidery machine, I've inserted into my computer one USB stick and one compact flash. Now in XP, you used to go to your C drive to find out what letter had been allocated to it. In Windows 7, and I've no doubt it's the same in Windows 8, if you go into Windows Explorer, you will see my USB stick has been allocated the letter I and my compact flash card has been given the letter L. So if I open I, it tells me it's empty. Have I got that the right way around? Yes. If I open L, it tells me that is empty. They haven't been formatted in an embroidery machine or via the Janome software. Now the Janome software automatically formats whether you use the Customizer, Digitizer Pro Junior or Digitizer MBX or any of the Janome digitizers from Digitizer 10,000 up to MBX. If you don't have Janome software, and I know not everybody that owns a Janome machine has got the software, you take your USB stick or your compact flash card with an ATA adapter, which is also called a PCM-CIA adapter. You pop the compact flash card into the adapter and you push that into the slot on your machine that's designed to hold embroidery cards. If you've got a machine which will take a USB, you pop the USB into your machine. You will get a warning screen. It'd be two red circles with a red line going through the middle. What it's telling you is, do not turn the power off to your machine. Do not remove your external device. When that warning screen has disappeared, you should get an option, format this card. If you don't, use the set icon that's on your machine's display screen. Arrow forward the, through the screens until you come to the one which has got the format option on. Now each machine is slightly different, but the procedures are still the same. You will be offered format machine, format the CF card, and if you've got a machine that's got CF cards, or sorry, not CF cards, ATA cards, and if you have a machine that's got USB and CF, you'll get ATA card and then USB. If your machine only takes USBs, you won't get the ATA. You click on the button that sits to the right and belongs to the one that you want, the ATA card or the USB card, and you click OK. You'll get a message. This will delete all contents. Click the button again. Any more questions, always hit the Affirm button, which is the OK button. You'll get the warning symbols again. Do not turn off the machine. Do not remove external devices. When that screen has gone, you have formatted your card or your USB stick. You remove it from the machine and you insert them into your computer and you will get a drive letter for either the USB or the card. Won't be the same as mine because my computer isn't configured the same as yours. Okay, so now we've got that far. My Janome software. I know some of you have got Digitizer Junior. Well, Digitizer Junior, even though it looks a little bit different, doesn't have all these bits with it, works in exactly the same way. 
you open a design file and I don't want that one, that's the design I'm working on I want to go to Libraries Documents Embroidery Embroidery Library Loose Fill Flowers and tell it I want Jeff there is the design I open it whatever machine you have in your filter it could be the 12,000 it could be the 11,000 could be the 10,001 it could be any one of these on here so we'll say we've got the 11,000 it's showing the hoop square 200 by 200 so that's what this is I go up to external media writer design this is what automatically formats your card for you Toshiba I open my embroidery folder you must open the embroidery folder then I tell it write OK that's for a USB stick now I'm going to do it again external media write a design removable disk L and tell it write now I'm going to go to I there's the embroidery folder there's the child folder there is the design in the USB stick which was automatically formatted by the software now I'm going to go to the compact flash card there's the embroidery folder inside let me just take that back one removable disk L thank you the EMB folder open it it's got a child inside and there is the folder uh, this is where most people slip up they don't know that they may have two folders so I've got a design on a compact flash card I've also got a design on a USB stick I'm going to close that I'm going to close this and now that I know that my sticks are formatted and we'll say the machine did them I'm going to come into this one open the EMBF folder highlight that one tell it delete you've seen it in there now you know the software created the folder yes I do want to get rid of it thank you so then I come back and I go to my I go to my embroidery folder I go to my embroidery library folder I go to my loose fill flowers I'm going to open the second folder and I'm going to select this one I'm going to tell it copy I don't cut it I copy I then go to my USB stick I open the embroidery folder I open the EMBF folder I right click into the empty folder and I say paste and there is that design and once it's gone to the machine the machine will create another icon and instead of Jeff it will say JBF or something don't panic about that it's a special file that the machines create because the machines all have a little bit of code that's only normally present in their own software and if it isn't present they then create it so you've got two methods of transferring your designs to your external media and we'll do one more we'll just check and make certain there's nothing on the CF card okay I'm going to right click and I'm going to tell that delete yes I'm now going to go to my documents my embroidery folder embroidery library loose filled flowers go to my second collection of flowers and I'll click on that one the poppy I'll right click and I'll tell it copy then I'll go to my ATA card my compact flash always open the embroidery folder and if it's got a child inside open the child folder right click paste and there is the design now the reason 
as I said in my first video, that I get to see a pictorial image is because I own an iconizer. It's part of another software I own. 